Please like and subscribe. I caught my husband and younger sister in bed together. My spouse and I are both 22 years old, and I believed we had the most fantastic, healthy, and happy marriage. We've been together for a little over two years, but we've known each other for seven. In high school, we met. But I've never dated, I have a little son whose biological father is a deadbeat. My spouse took over as his father when he was four months old. My kid and family admire my spouse, he reminds everyone of my father, who died suddenly of a heart attack four years ago. On the floor of our living room. My family and husband quickly got extremely close. My husband and I began trying for a child a few months after we began dating. However, we did not conceive our kid until 15 months after we began trying. Dealing with infertility was really difficult on my mental health. After the seventh negative pregnancy test in a row, I spent a lot of time crying into my husband's chest. When we found out I was pregnant with our second son in November, we were overjoyed. The global scenario occurred, which hampered my pregnancy. So I frequently invited my younger sister, 18F, to our apartment to keep me company while my husband worked long hours owing to the global circumstances. My four siblings and I are all quite close, but my youngest sister and I are by far the closest of all our siblings. I basically raised her after my mother abandoned us two months after our father died to go live with her boyfriend. Would do anything for her at the drop of a hat and would always defend her and be on her side. My spouse decided to unwind and have a drink for the first time in almost a year one weekend in April. My little sister was over, so I went out and purchased some wine for her to drink so they could have fun drinking together, because I was pregnant and couldn't drink with him. While we were all playing video games and watching movies I went to bed because it was becoming late and I was exhausted. When I awoke about 1 am and didn't see my spouse in bed next to me, I got up to see whether he was still playing video games. I skipped putting on my spectacles. When I walked out to the living room, I noticed him standing hunched over her, while she was laying on the couch, in my severely blurred eyesight. They were both dressed, but I felt very nervous and sick to my stomach. When I questioned what they were doing, my husband replied that he was talking to her. I returned to the restroom and began crying, but I dismissed it as stupid and hormonal, and tried to push it to the back of my mind. Only I couldn't because the memory was consuming my every thought and driving me nuts. But I didn't have any proof, and I didn't see them doing anything, so I simply told myself that I was crazy and that they would never do something like that to me, especially while I was significantly pregnant. My husband began to grow increasingly distant and hostile toward me. Always seems to find things to argue about with me. Not paying any attention, affection, or sex to me which was very out of character for him. I dismissed it as him being concerned about the new baby. My husband and I purchased our first home in May, and I wanted to paint all of our rooms before we moved in. My husband agreed, and my sister volunteered to assist him. Fast forward to July, after three months of feeling that something wasn't right and that my marriage was in trouble. I awoke one Monday morning, nine months pregnant, to an empty bed and no sign of my spouse. My younger sister had stayed the night, I put on my contacts and walked into the living room to see whether he was awake and playing with the new cat we had gotten the night before. My stomach fell when there was no trace of him. The door to my unborn child's nursery, where my little sister was sleeping, was open. My heart plummeted, and my feet felt like cement blocks, yet I began going slowly towards the room only to find my husband on his knees in our unborn son's nursery, administering oral to my baby sister. I fucking knew it, get out of my house, were the first words out of my mouth. I'll never forget the expressions on their faces. I was devastated and traumatized. I dashed to our master bathroom and just stood there stunned. When my husband walked in and tried to talk to me, I threw everything within reach at him and ordered him to leave me alone. I pushed past him because he didn't. The rest of it is a haze, and I don't recall much of it. Except for concealing his keys so he could drive her back to my mother's house, he ended up doing so anyways. I'm still humiliated and crushed, but I can't force myself to leave him, no matter how disgusted, hurt, and devastated I am. I've only spoken to my sister a few times, trying to figure out why slash how she could do something like that to me of all people. 
They didn't have an answer, and they had sex practically every time she came over while I was sleeping. I have no desire or need to be in a relationship with my sister. I honestly believe she owes me more loyalty than anyone else on the globe. How do I recover from the ultimate betrayal by the two people I care about the most? Edit, just to clarify up some misunderstandings. My husband did not groom her or exploit her. She stated that it was entirely voluntary. Both my spouse and she have stated that there were no romantic sentiments involved. It's all about the sex. I should also mention that my younger sister has a long history of sleeping with grown men. But I never imagined she'd go so far as to sleep with my husband. By expressing this, I am not absolving him of responsibility. A 27-year-old man is currently in prison for having sex with her in the back of his car when she was 15 years old. Also, the dude's name was the same as our older brother's, she just has significant issues. I discovered she'd been using my sex toys when I was at work a few years ago. She's insane and has boundaries difficulties, clearly creeped me out, so I threw them away. But, once again, I had no idea she'd try to destroy my marriage or relationship with me. She also has a very special place in my son's heart. I'm not sure why she'd risk damaging it. To be honest, I'm perplexed.